The first part of the season is over. Welcome to the playoffs. Budućnost defeated FMP in Morača Hall, which gave them both the second place and the home court advantage. First playoff rivals are Crvena Zvezda Mornar and Budućnost Devita. The games will start this Sunday. Sit tight as we wrap it up with the top place of the last round. Welcome to ABA Magazine. Crvena Zvezda ended regular part of the season with one of the most emphatic wins this season. Current champion won against Cibona in Aleksandar Nikolic Hall. Final score was 107-69. Fact that the game didn't have any competitive significance didn't affect motivation and engagement of the home team that wanted to get back in good rhythm after heavy defeat in Euroleague against Barcelona. That was noticeable from the very start and visitors from Zagreb didn't have response on aggressive defense of red and white, so after the first period they had nine turnovers. Dusan Olimpijevic's team scored some easy points at the end of the first period. They held a double-digit lead and with great long-distance shots they continued to increase their lead. Dylan Ennis stood out with seven of seven three-point shots. Four of those seven shots Ennis scored in the second period, when Zvezda had plus 19. Ante Nazor's team was without their best player, Žoric, because of that they could parry their rival only during the second half of this period. With the four three-point shots made in a row, Wolves from Tuškanac make a 13-2 run, but were still unable to get to a single-digit deficit before the end of the first half. In the second half, we saw even better play uh, the home team that easily got to open three-point shots. Cibona had a lot of missed two-point shots uh, and with a lot of turnovers had more and more problems. So at the half of the third period, uh, they were trailing for over 20 points. Champion of Serbia played in a high rhythm until uh, the very end, uh, which brought them a very emphatic win marked by great shotting percentages and with total of 31 team assists. Ennis with 21 points uh, was the most efficient player of the game. Ogen Dobrić scored 18 points and Matias Lesor scored 16 alongside 7 rebounds, 2 assists and 2 steals. Feldin added another 12th while Bialica scored 10. For Cibona, better than the rest was Uljarević with 13, Bosnjak with 12 and Novačić with 11 points. Crvena Zvezda will start the fight for their fourth ABBA league title in a row as the best place team. In spite of the constant changes in both the roster and in the coaching staff, the Belgrade team scored 19 triumphs with only three defeats. They did suffer two losses from the same team, Budućnost. One round before the playoffs, uh, they had already secured the home court advantage. Dusan Alempijevic's team uh, had the best offense in the regional league. They were the best in three pointers and second best in field goals and assists, thanks in most part to Rochester. He finished this part of the league with 60% field goals, 50% uh, three pointers, and 90% free throw percentage. Feldin, Bielica and Lesor also stood out in the team. The club now hopes that they have finally made the team that will accomplish their primary mission. And that is to defend their title. The first obstacle that stands in their way is Mornar from Bar.
In their last game, Budućnost defeated FMP 87-64 in Morača Hall, which gave them both the second place and the home court advantage in their playoff series against Cedevita. FMP's best player, Filip Čović, couldn't come to Podgorica and Dojo wasn't able to play. Budućnost couldn't count on Filip Barović and Kyla Landry. The team from Železnik started the game on a high note when Borisa Simanić scored eight points. The team from Montenegro struggled with their attack and the guests managed a seven-point lead during the second period. But that's when Gordic took matters into his own hands and led by his example his teammates started scoring three-pointers. After scoring 12 points to three, Budućnost goes on break 40-38 in the lead. When the game resumed, Gordic and Budućnost continued to dominate. They finished the third period 14 points in the lead. The guests were unable to do anything and Budućnost triumphed 87-64. Their best players were Ivanović with 19 points, Gordic with 16, while Nenadić was the best in FMP's team with 17 points. Budućnost entered this season with high ambitions. On the bench they brought ex-coach of Partizan, Aleksandar Džikić, who formed team that is to compete on two fronts, ABBA League and ULEB Euro Cup. Nikola Ivanović, Danilo Nikolić and Filip Barović returned to Podgorica alongside experienced foreign players like Kyle Gibson and Kyle Landry. Last year's semi-finalist of regional championship started the season with defeat in final of first Super Cup. But the real shock happened in the second round of Eva League when Aleksandar Džikić's team suffered an unexpected defeat against Igokea in Laktaši. Team responded excellent to this loss, made the nine wins in a row and managed to get on the top. Unlike last season, Budućnost managed to make solid results in Juleber Euro Cup, where they managed to get to quarterfinals. But team from Podgorica was eliminated by a foreign legion playing for Darosha Faka and being coached by American David Blatt. Playing on two fronts and heavy rhythm took its toll on the team. They suffered two defeats in 18th and 19th round against Mornar and Cedevita. Crvena Zvezda seized the opportunity and took over first seed. Management brought Justin Dolman who played for Barcelona for several years and whose experience should prove valuable in the finish of the season. Interesting team from Podgorica won in both the game they played against defending champion Crvena Zvezda. Statistically, Budućnost has second best defense of the league and when it comes to offense, they are led by great outer line Gordic Ivanović Gibson. Budućnost managed to take the second place which gave them a home court advantage against Cedevita in semi-final. They already played five times against Cedevita this season. In the last game before the playoff, Cedevita won against Partizan with 85-75. Visitors from Belgrade came to Dražen's home in a significantly weakened rooster. After Budućnost, Williams Goss and Šalić skipped this game too, and Novica Veličković was absent too. Despite that, Nenad Čanak's team resisted their rivals and only lost in five minutes of the game. This match started a bit slower, and home team took advantage with 11 free run. That gave them a first significant lead. Black and Whites fought back at the end of the first period and from minus 7 got to plus 1. At the moment, it was clear that Kwame Won will play his best game in Partizan. American scored 20 points, and with Aranitovic helped Partizan to score 14 unanswered points for visiting team. Double-digit deficit was quickly annulled by Jures Dovd's team. Team from Zagreb had a great three-point percentage throughout the game with 14 successful attempts. Visitors had a plus-one lead at the half-time break and managed to hold on to the lead until the end of the third period. Champion of Croatia made 11-2 run and took back the lead before the decisive 10 minutes. In shortened roster, a partisan managed to make another comeback this time from uh, minus nine, and after Petsarski scored for three, score was 71-71. 
After that, Krušlin, Ukić and Markota scored three points in a row and led Sedevita to their 17th win this season, which didn't give them a home court advantage in the semi-finals because Budućnost won against FMP in Morača. Most efficient players of the game were Markota with 15 points and Ukić and league best young player Janan Musa scored 14 each, while Nichols added another 13. Stepanović once again filled out all the columns with 10 points, 7 rebounds and 5 assists. With the aforementioned one in Korać Cup winner, Gagic stood out with 14, while Aranitović added 10 points and 6 assists. Partizan ended this season of ABBA League on 5th place with 11 wins and 11 losses. Cedevita began this season with one goal, to dethrone Crvena Zvezda. Veljko Mršić left the club to be replaced with the experienced Jures Dovc. Luka Babic and Miro Bilan also left the team, but the Croatian representative and former NBA player Roko Leni Ukić joined the team. As did Andrija Stipanović and the Americans Will Cherry, Kevin Murphy and Dimitris Nichols. They started the season as well as they could have hoped, by winning the ABBA League Super Cup. It was evident from the beginning that the team would have a more controlled style with aggressive defense. Nichols became the leader of the team, with the worst experience in Euroleague, while Musa got a much more prominent role than the during previous season. However, they did suffer three defeats in the first nine rounds. At the same time, uh, the team played in the Julep Cup, uh, where uh, they went all the way to the top 16. After the defeat from Budućnost in Podgorica, they responded with seven triumphs in a row. Murphy left during the transfer period, while the age former NBA player and Croatian representative Damir Markota joined the team. Marko Arapović is still out of the game due to an injury. Cedevita finished the first part of the league with a string of four triumphs, but they couldn't get second place. Jures Dovt's men need at least one triumph to get through the finals. Morner defeated MZ in Topolica Hall 106-75 to confirm their fourth place on the table. In the playoffs, uh, they will face Crvena Zvezda. The team from uh, Macedonia came to bar with only nine players. Even their coach Željko Lukajic wasn't able to attend the game, and uh, they were led by uh, Georgi Kočov. Mihailo Pavićević's team uh, took complete control of the game. The best their rivals could do was to one point reduce their deficit to less than 10 points. Morner scored 29 points during the third quarter alone, with Nemanja Vranjež scoring three three-pointers. Vuko Tapavic played his best game of the season, scoring 25. Reli Ross finished the game with 15 and Vranjež with 14 points. In what was a defeat number 19 for MZT, Simonovski was the best with 27 points, while Lajlić did a double-double, 22 points and 11 rebounds. The dark horse of this ABBA league season, Morner from Bar. In their second season in the competition, they've got to 14 wins and 8 losses, which was enough to secure them the fourth place and a ticket for the playoffs. Mihailo Pavićević's men were especially brilliant in the last 10 games, of which they lost only one. The other thing that set them apart from their rivals were their dramatic triumphs. They got the win either in the final seconds of the game or after dramatic comebacks. The Pavićević brothers have formed a tight pack led by the excellent American players Derek Needham and Rally Ross. 
Uroš Luković played the best season in his career. He is the best blocker in the league, the second best in rebounds, excellent in two-point shots, second most valuable player in the whole league. But he is injured, and that will be a real problem for Morner against the champion Crvena Zvezda. Mega Bemax won in Pinky Hall in Sremska Mitrovica in a very efficient game against Igokea. Final score was 99-97. Youngest team of the league ended the season with a win. Dejan Milojevic wasn't able to count on injured Mushidi, Fundić, Jaramaz and Jovicic, while for Igokea Danilo Šibalić was absent. Mega opened the game strongly, was inspired in offense, scored easy points from transition while being precise for three points too. All that gave them a 31 points scored in first period alone and the plus 15 lead. But Igokea responded with a 16-0 run and got back to the game. But Aleksandar Lazic scored with a half-time buzzer, so home team went to 15-minute break with plus 8 lead, 50-42. Igokea started playing better in the second part of the game while Mega entered a dry spell that their arrival used to get a lead during the half of the third period, when the score was 69-68. Dragon Bay's team managed to take back the lead with help of Radivojevic, Artis and Ponjevic. So Mega entered the crucial period with a 70-69 lead. In the fourth period, the young Nikola Mišković started playing well. This was his best game since he returned after the injury. He made the three-point shot that gave the home team plus eight lead. Mišković stopped, but Bitadze continued with a series of his points, managed to get a double-digit lead to his team and eventual eight win of the season in regional competition. Georgian player scored 18 points and was most efficient player in the Mega. Mišković scored 17, while Lazic added another 15. Best in the losing team were Artis with 23 and Jevtović with 16. In the game without competitive significance, Olympia won against Zadar in Stožice Hall. Final result was 90-85. Team from Slovenia got their ninth win against Zadar on home court in Aba Ling in as many games played. Visitors opened the game better. So near to the end of the first period, they managed to have a double-digit lead and after first 10 minutes, score was 27-21 in favor of Aramis Naglic team. Croatian team had a lot of troubles in offense of the second period, but Olympia also had problems with zone defense of their opponents. Second period score was 18-14 for home team, which meant that Zadar had plus two lead at the halftime. We saw the same in the third period. Olympia was held in the game by Morgan and Oliver, while on the other end uh, those were Spralja and Vukovic, which was enough for plus four. In the last 10 minutes, Olympia found their offensive rhythm with the three-point shot, so home team took the lead at the half of the last period. But Knowles responded with the two three-pointers, in a row managed to equalize with 2.26 left to play. As it turns out, uh, that was pretty much all that Zadar managed to do in this game, because Morgan and Oliveira started 8-1 run, which effectively won the game. Two American players were most efficient players in Olympia, fifth win in a row in Abba League. Jordan Morgan scored 25 points, while Devin Oliver scored 18 points with 13 rebounds. With visiting team, Ivano was better than the rest with 22 points scored. Olympia defeated Zadar before they had to say goodbye to Abba League. And the one they have to thank for this win is Jordan Morgan. He scored 25 points, 7 rebounds and 4 assists. In 28 minutes on the court he scored an index point of 32. The player from Ljubljana is the MVP of the round 22. Thank you.
You've been watching another edition of Aba League magazine. See you again next week with the highlights from the playoffs.